friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video lecture, we are going to study about isoniazid in just 3 minutes. If you are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe it. And join me on Instagram and Facebook. There you can study the daily image based questions and currently we are on radiographic interpretation series which is going fantastically and it is helping a lot and lot of students. So don't forget to join me. So any further ado, let's get started. What is the mechanism of action of isoniazid? Isoniazid is a pro-drug which is activated by catalase peroxidase. Catalase peroxidase is an enzyme which is coded by CATG. You have to remember this because it is being asked in MCQs. Okay? Active metabolite inhibits enzyme ketoenol reductase which is required for mycolic acid synthesis. Okay, As you can see, this is the cell wall of our... Uh, mycobacteria and in this cell wall we have such mycolic acids okay so isoniazid works on this mycolic acid like structures okay by inhibiting this ketoenol reductase enzyme and it act by oxygen dependent pathway such as catalase peroxidase reaction Yes, so what happens? First of all, isoniazid is a pro-drug. It is an inactive form over here. Okay, then it gets activated by catalase peroxidase coded as CATG. Okay, then it uh, produces the uh, two carrier proteins, acyl carrier protein and beta keto acyl carrier proteins. Okay, and it blocks the ketoenol reductase enzyme which is required for mycolic acid uh synthesis and uh, yes and it blocks the uh, mycolic acid synthesis now resistance to isoniazid occurs due to the mutation in cat g or inha our uh, ketoenol reductase enzyme is coded as inha okay so by uh, mutation into either INH A or CAT G, resistance to isoniazid is being caused. This is very important line. Please note it down. Isoniazid is a bacteriostatic against resting and bactericidal against rapidly multiplying bacteria. Okay. Rifampicin was bactericidal against resting bacteria also, right? It is effective against intra as well as extracellular mycobacteria. Action is most marked against rapidly multiplying bacilli. And uh, isoniazid has maximum CSF penetration. This is the picture of mycobacteria. You can notice the uh, rod shaped bacilli, right? Now, pharmacokinetics it is effective orally and metabolized by acetylation. It is essential component of multi-drug therapy of tuberculosis and is drug of choice for prophylaxis of TB and for latent tuberculosis infection. Guys, isoniazid is uh, generally available as 300 mg tablet, okay? Now, what is the side effects of isoniazid? Peripheral neuritis that can be prevented and treated by pyridoxin, okay? Vitamin B6. It is hepatotoxic. Hemolysis in G6PD deficient patients. Isoniazid also inhibits monoamine oxidase enzymes. Okay, and it results in cheese reaction. Rash, fever, anemia, optic neuritis, seizures, lupus like syndrome, transient memory loss, psychosis are also been reported with this drug. Let's see the cheese reaction uh, quickly, okay? When we consume uh, substances like cheese, beer, red wine, banana, it contains tyramine, right? So, in presence of monoamine oxidase inhibitors like our isoniazid, it escapes the degradation, okay? Tyramine doesn't get degraded and it reaches the systemic circulation. And then it is being taken up by the adrenergic neuron. Then it enters into the storage vesicles and it displaces the norepinephrine which result in hypertensive crisis. So this is a cheese reaction. And to avoid this, uh, drug of choice is fentolamine. This is just for your extra information, right? Stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you so much.